What's up guys, my name is Trainer Tobes and this is my brand new YouTube Pokemon channel. Um, first things first, um, I'm not going to show my face. I'm going to pretty much do no editing of these videos. So they're just all going to come at you, you know, thick and fast. And there might be some little hiccups here and there, but that'll be part of the fun with it. So, first things first, this is what we're going to open today. We got the Pokemon Go. Japanese version booster box and I'm gonna be giving away a chilling rain factory sealed booster box um, All you have to do to win that is Like the video um, make a comment in, in the comment leave a comment in the comment section and um, sub Subscribe with all notifications on all right, and then you'll see these two poker power boxes first off. I am not um you know, no one pays for promotions or anything like that. I did buy these myself. Um, I bought them about a month and a half ago, two months ago now. And I'm going to open them here. They are 100% sealed on the next video. So that'll be my next video. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right. So without any further ado, let's get started. So real quick about me. Um, I was into Pokemon in 1999. Before I loved the show, got into the cards. Um, my, as a matter of fact, my very first pack I ever opened up was a base set pack, and I pulled the base set Charizard. So, you know, needless to say, there's only down to go from there. Um, but I loved it. Stuck with me. Um, I collected up until probably about, I don't know, probably around 2002 or so. I only did it for a few years. And then stopped collecting um i just got back into it um about seven eight months ago um and as a matter of fact i would like to make take a shout out to poker rev as he is the reason why i really got back into it um and my little brother of course um so let's get to it and slacking v starting out with the hollow So I love, I do play Pokemon Go. Don't play it as often as I used to. I played a lot when it first came out. Um, and then when this set came out, I was ecstatic. Um, I thought this was awesome. Excited about it. Couldn't wait for it. Oh, this pack. Come on. So most of these videos are going to be relatively short. Probably around the 10 minute mark or so. Um... And then just keep it on quick and simple for you. Moltres Hollow. So I am collecting. Did start a binder on the original for the English version of the Pokemon Go. Um, I'll probably show it to you guys one day as I'll be opening up Pokemon Go packs, this version here, um, soon. But for the moment, we're just going to stick with this. And Snorlax Hollow Hit. I do like that you can get a hollow in all these. Granted, it makes the hollows pretty easy to double up on. But everybody loves a good hollow. See, since I'm old school, I like the hollows still. Of course, the bigger hitters are always a pleasure to have. But I'm fine with getting hollows. So I'm probably in the minority there. And another V. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Like I said, no editing here, so you're going to see a little bit of camera movement every time I hit it. Sorry about that. Um, also, please leave comments. Let me know what you guys want me to open. Um, if there's anything you guys want me to do or anything I can improve on, anything like that. Um, you know, I'm, I want to learn. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not really doing it for any other reason. Um, I just like collecting Pokemon cards, and so... And we got the Blastoise. Ooh, double hit. Um, so anything you guys have for me, I will I'll look into if it's possible or anything like that. Um, the next video after this, I have a couple ideas. Um, so I have a couple of things. I have something rare that I'm sure most people haven't maybe haven't even seen before. Sorry about that. Um, 
Ooh, and we got a Dragonite V Star hit. Nice. So, like I was saying, I have a couple ideas and a couple things I'm going to open that most people probably haven't seen that are old school. Um, I don't want to spoil it. Um, but it'll probably be my third or fourth video. Um, and it's going to be pretty neat. It's going to be quite a few packs. And then I'm always going to try to give away stuff as frankly as possible. So all you got to do is do all the same stuff pretty much every time. Radiant EV. All right. So I have plenty of these boxes that I will be opening up to the Radiant EV, EV English version since that's the only way you can get it. Um, and we're going to see what we can get out of those. Um, I have a couple interesting little battle ideas to do between a couple different boxes and stuff. I love tins. Tins are one of my favorite things to collect. I have a large portion of tins. Um, and so... And we got the Pikachu with the hat. So I'll probably be... You'll probably see quite a few tin openings here. Um, because those are one of my favorite things to collect, so I have a quite a few of those um you will be seeing a booster box opening here soon i will be opening a booster box and i will be giving that booster box away um all the pulls everything away to two people who comment on the video um charizard regular hollow hit so i'll let you guys know when that one is i'm always going to probably put what i'm going to open up next in front here and let me know in the comment section when you guys started collecting. I want to know, like, when, what's the first pack you ever opened up? What set was it? And then if you're back to collecting, what set brought you back? I'm always intrigued by stuff like that. So, Dragonite V. What made me interested in starting collecting again was I was with my little brother and saw a Pokemon card. I was like, hey, where'd you get that? And he's like, oh, I've been collecting for a while again. I'm like, What? And I was kind of upset he didn't tell me, because, you know, we used to do it together. So I was a little upset about it. So everything I do from here is all his fault. Um, I tell my wife that, too. It's always my little brother's fault. So she doesn't quite buy it as much as I do, but that's okay. Articuno. And then... Let me know what your guys' favorite card is out of this set, too. Um, I think mine... So I'm a huge Venusaur fan. Like Tyranitar. I love Venusaur. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, all of them. That is my go-to Pokemon. Of course, I love the Charizard. I mean, who doesn't love Charizard? But um, I remember being upset when Game Boy Color and Pokemon, they released that. Um, Red and... Red and blue, and there was no green, because I wanted the green. <laughs> but there's no green. I remember being upset. Um, and almost like, I'm not going to get that game then. But, of course, I got it. And I did get... Uh, I had both. I'm trying to remember which one I got first, though. And there we go. My Venusaur. That's what I'm talking about. Speak it, and it will come true. Um, and going back to, you know, my base set Charizard I pulled on my very first pack ever, which I'm sure some of you won't believe me on, but it is true. At the time, of course, I didn't know how big of a card it was. I had no idea. I just was like, oh, this is awesome. Um, and kept it. But my entire original collection was thrown away by my parents. Uh, who knows how long ago. Um, but it is gone. I don't have it. I wish I did. There were... An extensive amount of hollows and everything in it. I don't remember if I had any um, first editions really or anything like that or Shadowless. I don't remember any of that. Um, but I know I had countless pages of hollows. And I think I had two Charizards actually. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Gyarados. Uh, 
Um, my favorite set from back in the day was... It's probably got to be base set because that's what I grew up with. Um, I like Jungle a lot too. Fossil was fine. Rocket was cool. Base set 2 was fine, you know, because it was basically a reprint. I was just like, why? At the time I didn't really understand why there was base set 2. It didn't really make sense to me. Um, of course it does now. But, um, so you just, you know, those were my main ones I liked. And there we go, VMAX. Um, I'm trying to think. Let me know what else you guys want to know about me. Um, anything you guys want to tell. I can have some pretty interesting stories I could tell about certain things with Pokemon. I'm sure I'll do that one day over time. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's a nice hit. Probably the... Uh, V-Star is definitely the best hit probably of the day, but that one's up there. And what's your favorite card from this set? Um, if I had to choose, it's always going to be Venusaur, of course, like I said earlier, but I like... Actually, that Dragonite V-Star is pretty nice. Mewtwo is really nice. And a Zapdos. I'm a huge Zapdos fan, too. Of all the legendary birds, really, of any legendary Pokemon, Zapdos is my favorite. You'll never convince me otherwise. Zapdos will beat everybody no matter what. That's just how I feel. Um, so, I don't even think Mew stands a chance. I know that's not true, but, you know, that's just my feelings on Zapdos. So, we got regular EV. Two. There we go. The regular hollow hits. And I'm really looking for select for, for suggestions. Um, I do want to open an Evolutions box soon. Um, or if anyone's looking for anything they want to even purchase, um, I can, you can ask me if I have it. I'll let you know if I have it. We'll, I can always talk about stuff like that. Um, or if I know someone who has it and you want it, or a card even specific. I don't, you know, these are all going in a binder for my own personal collection. But like I said, after this video. All you gotta do, you gotta watch the whole video. Mewtwo V. Oh, that was the last pack. Um, watch the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on all notifications. And we will, and I will um, pick a winner for that Chilean Rain booster box. Um, and then the next giveaway will just have to remain a surprise. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'll keep trying to improve. I'll keep updating everything as I can, you know, and then I'll keep creating videos either way. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.